So I just saw it out. One of these things. Fantastic. This is what I'm talking about, the 45. That's so I can drop the plywood in here and fold it up. I'm, uh... You need to allow yourself enough room to fuck around. Pardon me, to play around here but this is a really good example of what I'm talking about with these stringers look at this is this is what this this is the stringer right here that's your stringer that's there ain't nothing left of that it's good that we got solid wood on the bottom because well it's gonna have to come out but it also tells me that there might be some salvageability as we go up but you can see that there is nothing left when you're doing this do not cut that right down to your hull. Always leave that. That's your reference point. That's where your stringer goes, so you can drop your next one in there. Now, I think that's an inch and a half, dimensional inch and a half. Um, some of the older ones, they were two bys, like proper two bys, right off the mill, without getting plain. But, uh, yeah. If you're going to bring your boat to me or take it in somewhere to have something done and say, oh, everything's good, la, 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 I can almost guarantee you this is 40 years old, 41 years old. It's not. So you got to keep that in your budget. Um, otherwise, you, you can't do a transom. I can drop a transom in here, no problem, but I cannot bond it to that. There's, there's just no way. So, like I said, we'll dig all this stuff out as good as we can. If we can get to dry wood, then we're laughing. If we can't, then we go up probably to the seats and lay a whole new stringer in there which is a pretty substantial amount of work um, especially we got to fill it this one to, to fit in there and everything so always keep this stuff in mind guys it's girls too it's uh this isn't for the faint of heart but don't panic when you see it anything's repairable